this video I am going to show you how to create a simple countdown timer in Premiere Pro. And later on in the video, I will show you how to create an animation for that timer. Before we start editing don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new tutorials. I will start by dragging my video onto the timeline. Then go to Project, right click, New Item and Transparent Video. Make sure these settings match your sequence settings then press OK. Drag that above your clip and extend it to how long you want the timer to be. The next thing to do is to go to Effects and search for Timecode. Click and drag it onto your transparent video. Then go to Effect Controls and scroll to the Timecode effect and we will start to do some changes. First thing to do is to click on the Field Symbol box to remove that dot. Now make sure the format is set to SMPTE. Now go to Timecode Source and set it to Generate, that's gonna start the timer from the beginning. And now time display should be set to whatever frame rate your video is, so I will set it to 30. Now you can change to opacity if you want. The last thing you can do is change the size or position of the time like this. After that, I want to remove the number of hours as well as the number of frames. To do that, I will go back to the effects and search for crop. Drag it onto the transparent video. Go to effect controls and select the crop effect. Now you will see a blue box on your video. Click and drag the left side so you can't see the hours and do the same for the right side until you can no longer see the frames. Now if you play it back. This looks good but I want to make it count down, so to do that I will right click, go to nest and OK. Then I will right click on the nest and click on speed and duration, then check the reverse speed box. This way the timer will count down. Now we have the timer, next I will create this animation for the timer and it is very simple. The first thing we are going to do is to click on the ellipse tool and draw the circle. If you hold shift while drawing the circle, you will get a perfectly drawn circle. Then go to the essential graphics tab and click on these buttons to center the circle. Then uncheck the fill box and check the stroke box. You can change the thickness from here. Now I will duplicate this layer by right clicking on it and clicking on duplicate. Make sure to rename it so you know which one is the duplicate. Now select the duplicate layer and change the color of the stroke. Next, scale it down to around 90%. Now extend the essential graphics layer to match the timer. Now go to effects and search for radial wipe. Then add it to the graphics layer. Then head over to the effect controls and create a keyframe for transition composition. Drag that keyframe to the beginning of the clip and another one at the end of the clip with 100%. This is what we've created so far. To make the animation more smoother, we are going to right click and choose ease out for the first one and ease in for the last one. Now if we add the timer to the animation and match the duration of both clips you'll get a countdown that looks like this. You can change the position or size of the timer to match the animation. And that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it then leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming tutorials.